I take it easily. But when the way of Allah has come to spend in this, there is a scrubby in my, in my pocket. There is a snake in my pocket. When I want to take something in Allah way, the scrubby, it's bite me, don't give. The snake put poisoning in my, in my, in my, in my hand, not to give. And if I give, I give five pound, five pound, I give five pound. But for perfume, I can buy it in 30 pounds. It's only 30 pounds, perfume. Makeup, I can get it in, in 50 pounds, no problem. But fee sabirilla, 10 pounds, I give it. This is, this is actually our life. We are living in luxury life, and our brothers there, they have no food. Now, what is the, what is the life? How we can calculate it? Are we the people? Are we the people, really? We are thinking to establishing Allah Deen. The one who is thinking to establish Allah Deen, he has to sacrifice everything. Life, time, blood, money, everything. That means I enter fully to the Islam. Fully to the Islam. And this is still, we are far away from it. We are very far away from it. That means, we said the Muslimin is like one body. Actually, our, I said our nervous system is not working. We don't feel. We don't feel. When we go to the, to the, to the market, we get many kind of fruits. We got different kind of sweets. We get all, what we, we are always going to the shopping. And we, we buy chocolates, we buy this, we buy the, every child, every child, what he spent, every child, maybe, maybe it, can, it can support one family. What the child he spent in a week or a month, he can support one full family. That means easily we can give them. But fi sabirillah, to establish Allah deen, we have no idea about these things. We have no idea about this. Sister, we don't want to lie on ourselves. If really we want to make a contract with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we want to be a soldier of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to be really a soldier of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to change our style of life, our thinking, our mind. We have to do day and night. This is, should be become become our even even when you go to sleep, if you get a dream, a dream in establishing the deal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How is the deen important in our life? This is will reflect in your action. Now, if you have an exam in the school or in the college, you, how, how, you, how you deal? You will change all your life according to the exam. You will start, give full time for the exam, study. Even when you want to make dua to Allah, the first thing you'll say, Ya Allah, pass me this exam. Why? Because it's very important in my life. Very important. And even when I talk to someone, indirectly I will say, Oh, Allah, I am studying because the exam is coming. This, I want to tell the one who is in front of me, that means this is the important thing in my life now. And I will say, please, make dua for me, I pass the exam. Please. Why? Because it's very important. Things. It's very important. And this is, this is how we want to change. How we want to change. It's become the Islam. The Islam is the important thing in our life. We have to change. If we want Allah to change our situation, we have to change ourselves. Allah will not change our situation until we change ourselves. We have to change ourselves. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change our situation. And this is the exam. This is the exam. If you don't change, Allah will not change. If you don't change, Allah will not change. Then if we want Darul Islam, we want to, to work for Darul Islam, we want to live in Darul Islam, this is not something easy. Sister, look, if you, want, if you want to buy one home in this country, maybe you will work 10 years continuously thinking day and night for this. Now we want to talk about Darul Islam. Darul Islam. What it means from us. 
it needs full sacrifice. Full sacrifice. Even the sister, if she got married, her husband, you have to push him to Allah way. What you are doing? Why you are sleeping? Why you are why you are not working for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deen? What you do? Why you spend your time for nothing? Be like Khadija. Say to Rasulullah sallam, Khadija, she was she was the rich richest woman in the in the in the in the in, in, in uh, or richest person in, in Mecca. She spent all her money for Rasulullah sallam, for the Islam. And she said to Muhammad sallam, don't care about children, I will take care about them. And he go fully for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala way. We want to be like Khadija. We need the sister to be like Khadija. To push their husband. Go fi sabirillah. Walk fi sabirillah. Don't lose your time. We want, we want to live like them even if we are here. Now I will tell you another thing about the children. We have to train our children. How to live. How to live like, like the Sahaba they are living. We want, we want to, to put in them not the luxury life, the simple life. The simple life. Then if we go to Al-Hijra, inshaAllah ta'ala, and there's a place we can go to it, it's become easy for them. But now will be very difficult because maybe there's no, no snicker. There will be no Mars there. There will be no chewing gum or something or that or this or cakes or this will be no, and it's not available there. Then will be very difficult for them and for you. But if we start to train them, train them, that means this is, is nothing. And we put the love of the Jannah in their heart. And we can increase their understanding. But how we can increase their understanding and the mother or the father still their understanding and not in that level. Due to this, we want, we want the children to grow, grow the understanding of the children by growing the understanding and the belief of the sisters. The Iman. We want to increase the level of the Iman for the sisters. We are in very difficult time. And Wallahi sister, we are unable. We are unable even for for a matches. How we will be and how we be how we'll be able to go to Jahannam. How we'll be in front of Rasulullah sallam, and Rasulullah sallam saying to us, You lost the amana. You lost the amana. What is our answer will be? What will be our answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? There will be no answer. While you are knowing the Tawheed, you are knowing La ilaha illallah, you know the duty, you know the system, you know everything, everything has come to you. What you are doing? What you are doing? Also, last week I said to the brothers, I asked the brothers, also the sisters, take a paper and pen and try to put what you do for the establishing the deen every week. Account yourself. This week, what I am doing for establishing the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then after two, three weeks, see the result. In this result, <coughs> you will be able to establish Allah deen by one halaqah a month. And in this halaqah, full of food, full of snack, full of drinking, and we are talking, and we are drinking, and we go to our home. This is the way how we can establish Allah Deen. This is, this is the way how we can establish Allah Deen. This is not the way how we can establish Allah Deen. We have, we have to feel hungry to give all these things to our brothers there. They are working for Allah Deen. We want to sacrifice. We want to sacrifice in Allah's way. If we don't feel that, we are joking. We are joking. Can you imagine someone has cut your finger without anesthesia and you are laughing and you are eating and you are impossible unless the nervous system is finished. That means there is no pain. It means there is a defect in your system. And this is what happened now. There is a defect in our system. 
we want to wake up. We want to wake up. And I asked the sisters, I asked the sister, I tried for one year, one year. Suppose any sister, she is in trouble, in a problem. Her husband in, in the jail, but not that jail, jail of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? They have, they have no money. They want to live in the minimum money. Minimum money. Minimum money. They are unable to eat all the fruits, all the meats. We want to, to take once, once a week meat and to take the simple things. And we want to collect all this money in the way of Allah for establishing the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we do these things? I ask the brothers and the sisters to try to do these things. To try to do these things because there is many people. They are crying. Maybe, I will tell you, maybe, if we don't support, Allah will exam us again. Maybe you will be in need for, for a piece of, of, of bread. Saddam Hussein, look, Saddam Hussein, he was Fir'aun. Now, what's happened to Saddam Hussein? He's in the jail. Same thing is can happen to anyone. Anyone. You are now in the safety life. It can happen to you anything. Tomorrow you in need. Allah will give you a test. How you like the brothers or the sisters to deal with you if you are in need. What you like. Due to this always, always brother, uh, always sisters. Put yourself, put yourself in the place of this sisters there or children there if you are in their place what you like from the muslimin to do and try to do what you like the people to do with you if you are in the same position try to be honest with yourself justice sacrificed wallahi in the day of judgment you will say if I give everything in Allah way, if I killed in Allah way, if I give, if I give my children in Allah way, all my money in Allah way, everything in Allah way, because you are, will be in, you will be in, يعني, in need for one deed. This is actually what I want to say to the sisters, and I will open. If there is any question, the sister they want to ask. We can answer it, but what I ask the sisters, we have to wake up. We have to wake up. We are actually, we are swimming, we are swimming in a major swimming pool. We want to come to the reality. The reality, we need every effort of you. We don't want to sleep. We want always to think about Allah Deen. Also about the da'wah, to carry the da'wah to the people. Subhanallah, we are carrying the haqq. Look, Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh alayhi salam, he knocked the door of the people, going from place to place, carrying the haqq. We want to do our duty for this haqq which we carry. Allah gave us this haqq. We don't want Allah to take this haqq from us. I do this, I ask the sisters, inshallah, to organize themselves and to try to increase their level to the level of the challenge in the in the in this time we are in need for every effort we are in need the sister to understanding to push their husband their brothers their families for Allah way to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshallah will be success inshallah ta'ala will be success and I hope inshallah ta'ala this time we are wake up and we can do according to the level of the challenge insha'Allah ta'ala.